Hi guys, here we're going to solve system of equations which are x plus y equals 2 and x to the 5 plus y to the 5 equals 82. So here we're going to talk about two methods by which we can solve these two equations. The first is expanding x plus 5 whole to the power of 5 using the binomial theorem. So here let me just <coughs> okay so first method is using the expansion of x plus 5 whole to the power of 5 using the binomial theorem. So here we'll get x to the 5 plus 5 x to the 4 y plus 10 x cube y squared and then you'll have plus 10 x square y cube plus 5 x y to the 4 plus you'll have y to the 5. Now we have rearranged it in such order so that we can factorize it easily. <coughs> so what are we going to get? x plus y whole to the power of 5 is equal to I'm going to keep this as it is x to the 5 plus y to the 5 because as given in the question it's equal to 82 and I'm going to use that plus I have this I'm going to take 5 x y common so what I'm left is the cube a cubic expression x cube plus y cube and when I'm expanding that I'll get x plus y times so I'll just write it here x squared minus xy plus y squared plus here I have 10 x square y square common so I'm going to take that 10 x square y square common times I'm left with x plus y <coughs> then what is the next thing I can do is just simplify x plus y here as given in the question is equal to 2 so I'm going to write that 2 to the power of 5 is equal to now uh, as I told you x to the 5 plus y to the 5 equals 82 so I'm going to write that 82 plus 5 x y times x plus y is 2 so 2 times I have the same thing x square minus x y plus y squared then I have this plus 10 x square y square times x plus y is 2 so now let's solve it further 2 to the power of 5 is 32 is equal to 82 plus you have 10 x y times I have the same old thing x square minus x y plus y squared plus I have 10 times 2 is 20 x square y square then solving for this I get negative 50 is equal to 10 x y times I have this x square minus x y plus y squared plus 20 x squared y squared <coughs> next minus 50 and 10 I can just simplify that to minus 5 is equal to I have x y and then let me take this 10 x y common 
so when I have this x squared plus x y plus y squared <coughs> when I take it common 10 x y from this and this I get x squared plus x y plus y squared and then simplifying this I get my negative 5 so here I have negative 5 is equal to x y times I can write this as x plus y the whole squared minus x y because I have 2 x y 2 x y minus x y will give me plus x y back now I have negative 5 is equal to x y and as you know this is 2 2 squared is 4 4 minus x y then what do I have just multiply it inside x y times 4 4 x y minus x y the whole square bring it this side so you'll have x y the whole squared minus 4 x y minus 5 is equal to 0 and when you go ahead to solve this equation you get x y is equal to either 5 or negative 1 so put together with x plus y is equal to 2, we get x, y are roots to either z square minus 2z plus 5 is equal to 0 or you can have <coughs> or you can say it is roots to z square minus 2z minus 1 equals to 0. So let's solve for this. What are the two equations you are having? z square minus 2z plus 5 is equal to 0. So the first equation, when you solve for that, you get z is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared minus 20 over 2. And that will simplify to give you 1 plus or minus 2i <coughs> all right and then for the next equation when we solve that is z square minus 2z minus 1 equals to 0 we get z is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square plus 4 divided by 2 and when you solve for that further you get 1 plus or minus square root of 2 so here this is not a real number it's a complex number so we're going to reject this this is rejected so we're going to take this 1 plus or minus square root of 2 so here you can write therefore therefore x comma y is equal to 1 plus square root of 2 comma 1 minus square root of 2 comma you can have the other way my 1 minus square root of 2 comma 1 plus square root of 2 so this is the only solution you have for x and y and <coughs> now this was the first method which we solved using the binomial theorem now the other way round the other method which I'm going to show you is that's also easy not that tough so how we're going to solve it the other way around is I'm going to take something like assuming something like let x is equal to 1 plus a and y is equal to 1 minus a and why am I going to do that is because the sum will be 2 and <coughs> and when I solve for this the system will be an equation of one variable it will regenerate me to one variable yes so what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to put this in x to the 5 plus y to the 5 what do I have x to the 5 plus y to the 5 is equal to 82 all right 
Now, what is that 1 plus a? So let me put it 1 plus a whole to the 5 plus 1 minus a whole to the 5 is equal to 82. So let me expand that. I have a to the 5 plus 5a to the 4 plus 10a cube plus 10a squared plus 5a plus 1. Then I have minus a to the 5 plus 5a to the 4 minus 10a cube. Then I have plus 10a squared minus 5a plus 1. And this whole thing is equal to 82. <coughs> now let's solve for this. You have a to the 5 minus a to the 5 cancelled. 10a cube minus 10a cube plus 5a minus 5a cancelled. So you're left with only 5 plus 5, 10a to the 4 plus 20a squared plus 2 and minus 82. That's minus 80 is equal to 0. And taking out common, what you have a to the 4 plus 2a square minus 8 is equal to 0. So you've removed 10. Now when you solve for this equation, what do you get? You have a square is equal to 2 or negative 4. So what will be a? a will be square root of 2 or negative root 2 plus or minus root 2 or you will have 2i or minus 2i. So plus 2i or minus 2i. The either way. So you have x comma y is equal to again the same solutions 1 plus square root of 2 comma 1 minus square root of 2 comma 1 minus square root of 2 comma 1 plus square root of 2 when you put the values of a. A is equal. Now this is a complex solution so you get the same thing as we got before using the second method. So whichever method you feel is easy um, let me know in the comments and if you have any more suggestions or any more methods which you feel is easy to solve these system of equations please write it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.